So guys, it looks like a new Call of Duty game is indeed on the horizon for 2016. No surprise there. Coming in the form of a much more futuristic game called Infinite Warfare. Now of course it's early days and there isn't exactly a heaping pile of information regarding gameplay, multiplayer, new mechanics and so on just yet. But from the recent announcement, Infinity Ward has given us a new trailer to extract a load of information from, plus they've also made a quite a few comments telling us what the game is all about. So I'm going to cut to the chase and give you a bunch of info on what we know about Infinite Warfare so far. So if you've been playing God over the last few years, you'll have noticed that each iteration has been slowly crawling its way more and more into the future, with Ghosts taking place in 2027, Advanced Warfare being set in 2054, and Black Ops 3 in 2065. And this whole future trend hasn't stopped yet, as Infinite Warfare flings us even further into the future, when the Earth has been stripped from all its natural resources. The people on Earth are reliant on colonies out in space, which have built outposts and territories for mining the planets and asteroids for more resources. Though a group of insurgents known as the Settlement of Defense Front, aka The Front, are a bunch of greedy fascists who want to take everything for themselves. As for yourself, you'll be dropped into the boots of a Tier 1 Special Operations pilot called Captain Rays, and it's going to be your job to lead the remnants of the Coalition forces, duking it out against the Front, and militant radicals who are fighting to take control of the resource outposts throughout the solar system. So that's basically what I've gathered on the story in a nutshell. It definitely sounds like it's going to be a much broader game in terms of locations, as we're going to see some places that we've never seen before in the past. There's going to be sections on Earth, along with space stations and battles on other planets too. Looking at that trailer, we can definitely see some futuristic tech coming into play. Air and space combat are going to be an important aspect for Infinite Warfare's campaign, as you'll be piloting a space combat vehicle said to be called the Jackal, that looks a bit like some kind of intergalactic jet fighter, gunning down other vehicles in the air with heavy weapons whilst you do so. There's also a huge warship that'll be a big part of the game called the Retribution, which is also likely the same warship on that Nuketown Easter egg in Black Ops 3 that we've all seen recently. And this will act as a base, and possibly even a hub world that can be explored, housing the crew and acting as a home. And it's definitely something that we haven't really seen in a COD game before. Along with a linear story path, there's also going to be side mission type elements to the game that are going to provide you with additional rewards to complete in any order you want, to gain items, progression and loot elements that will help you when completing the main story missions. To coincide with the sci-fi space battles, Infinite Warfare is also bringing along huge mech suits by the looks of things which are able to take on tanks, plus there's robots which are both allies and enemies, cool gadgets such as a grapple hook that you can see here being used to pull an enemy up close for a brutal head snap, and of course zero G and low gravity sections where you'll be floating around in the air. However one thing that you will notice about all of this, including the trailer, is that there's absolutely no aliens here whatsoever and it's really unlikely that they're going to be slotted into the game at any point either, as the game is, once again, being grounded by a believable universe. Not saying that aliens don't exist, they might do, but they're probably not going to be popping up in Infinite Warfare's campaign, down to the game sticking to its roots and focusing more on human military combat instead. But anyway, speaking of unbelievable things, and shifting onto another topic of Infinite Warfare, Zombies Mode is back. A new co-op Zombies Mode is being made for the first time ever by Infinity Ward, featuring a brand new storyline which isn't connected with Treyarch's Black Ops Zombies, new characters, different gameplay mechanics and other features. There isn't a lot of information on the new Zombies yet, though Infinity Ward has says that it's going to be unique and different to the past iterations, offering things to the players that have never been seen before. So yes, Zombie Mode has been confirmed and is coming back for Infinite Warfare. Now, multiplayer details haven't been released as of yet, but the devs have said that along with Earth, there's going to be maps based on space stations, far out into the cosmos, and also maps on different planets and asteroids, probably based around the outposts from the single player campaign. There's also going to be a pile of brand new futuristic multiplayer items to use to fit in with the theme, and offer players new ways to take out enemies. More details are going to be announced soon, and we'll most likely see footage of this at E3 in June. The PS4 is going to get that 30 day exclusivity regarding DLC once again, just like with Black Ops 3, so keep that in mind if you're going to go for that season pass. Now along with Infinite Warfare, there's also something else for Call of Duty fans to get really excited about, and that is the Modern Warfare Remaster being released with the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare. It's basically the old COD 4 that we all loved back in the day, brought back to life with slicker visuals for the next generation featuring the entire single player campaign and the original multiplayer with 10 of the most popular maps. 
So that's the good news, but the bad news is that you won't be able to buy the remastered version of Modern Warfare standalone. And the only way you can get your mitts on it is by purchasing either the Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition, Legacy Pro Edition, or the Digital Deluxe. Plus it's also stated that Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered is a full game digital download. So if you haven't got any intention of buying Infinite Warfare, then this is going to be a bit of a kick in the nuts. There's no word on whether the COD 4 Remaster will ever be brought out separately in the future, but it could be possibly at some point down the line, fingers crossed. All in all, Infinite Warfare is stepping even further into the future than we've ever seen before, and it looks like we're going to see a whole bunch of new sci-fi elements in this one. Infinite Warfare is set to be released on November the 4th, 2016 worldwide, and it's likely we're going to see a hell of a lot more on the new game at E3 and beyond. Anyway guys, these are just a few of the things we know about Infinite Warfare so far. It's looking to be another popular title, and in direct competition with the brand new Battlefield game coming out in the future too. And I'm looking forward to seeing more on both of these games and how they're going to shape up over the year. So if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please be sure to click on that like button, and if you want to see loads of other content, come check out my channel and maybe even subscribe if you like what's there. But that's all I've got for you in this one guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.